Check it out, folks. I got you covered. Listen, whether you're doing this for Valentine's Day or you're doing it for a regular brunch or you're just getting up on a Saturday morning and just making yourself some breakfast. I got you, folks. Listen, we're doing red velvet waffles and fried chicken. Let's get it. Okay, so listen, I'm not going to talk about the ingredients you guys can see. Obviously, that's an egg, but the full ingredient list will be on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W I T A B.com. Now, if you look right here, look, we got to go ahead and get that chicken going, right? This is my seasoned flour. Don't forget, I just made this. I'll put a link above me so you guys can click on that and see the full video. Okay, so you see this right here? Listen, this is my meat thermometer. You, you can see my signature right there. You don't have to have this one, but this is a great one to have. Listen, you got to be able to check your oil, right? I know you old school cooks out there, y'all talking about, oh yeah. Y'all get to talking about, hey, we could just stick a piece of wooden spoon in there or something like that. My grandma didn't have it, all of that. I'm at 373 degrees right now. I'm good with that. Now I'm going to take my wing. I'm just getting ready to drop it. I'll drop it away from me, folks. I don't overcrowd. Don't forget it's going to drop in temp. But all of that is in the link above me. I just made this so you guys can follow that video. All right, now look, you guys can see a few clips. This is it right here, right? Gotta have that fried chicken. Now, when it comes to making this waffle, obviously we gotta have a waffle maker, right? Super simple. Don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Okay, so look, when you look at these ingredients right here, I'm pretty sure that you guys probably have these ingredients in your pantry, cupboards, in a box or something some kind of way you got these on hand right now you got to have a waffle maker now i'm gonna turn this this way i'm gonna go ahead first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spray this non-stick you know spray you guys use whatever you want to on you know your own uh your own brand but you know what i'm kind of like partial to that to that pan now with this already in the bowl now we're finna come with you know our dry which is the cocoa and the brown sugar, right? I'm gonna take my whisk and incorporate this. Now it depends on how long you had your, listen to this, it depends on how long you guys have had your brown sugar. It may lump up. I don't wanna see no lumps. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep going, you know, back and forth till I get everything incorporated. Then when I see pieces like this, I just take my finger and just break them. Okay, so once I got this incorporated and I like what I see right here, you can see the color. And while you're using your whisk, you can see what needs to be churned and, you know, mixed together, right? Now we just take everything else. This right here, we're going to go, this is that red dye, right? This is how we're going to get a little, you know, get that color. What we're going to do is we're going to put in about 30 drops. Right? Bring my whole milk. And notice that I'm just, I'm constantly just mixing. It almost looked like a little bit on a chocolatey side, right? All right, but we'll just keep going. If you had any more lumps, as you mix it, as it's wet, they just break up, right? So now, vanilla extract. Oh man, I love, it. whenever you hit it with vanilla extract, it's right. All right, egg. Right, and now we go to the fun part. This right here. Remember I said earlier, 30 drops. So let's go ahead and start counting. So it's that easy, folks. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. Did you know making red velvet, you know, waffles was just easy. And the cake is just as easy as this. You know what I mean? Just a couple of a little bit more steps, a couple of different utensils, baking utensils, and that's it. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I wanna get my spatula because I wanna run this across the edge right here. Right, we wanna run it around the bottom. Right? That's why I like to use glass. You know why? Because I can look at the glass and see what needs to be done. You know, what do I need to add to it? You know, do I need to like scrape here? Where did it not get mixed all the way? Now just give it a little bit more. And guess what, folks? Red velvet waffle mix ready. Okay, once it's ready, right? I just give it a little spray, right? I put it 
my batter inside of a, I put my batter inside of this Pyrex, you know, make it easy to pour, right? So I start in the middle like this, and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get it all over, right? So what I do is I take my spatula, kinda like just bring this around this way. Then if you wanna add some more to it, you can, but you just wanna make sure you can get it to, you know, like completely flow, right? And it looked like it could take just a little bit more. So we just add it like that. We just wanna get maximum coverage. Close this lid like that, right? I take it, I bend this and turn it over and we wait till we see green. Okay, so now that it's ready, ah oh yeah, look at that right there. Now let me just go ahead and put that on there. You guys can figure it out from here. This on a plate, chicken on top, maybe a little greenery and bam. Okay, so you can see you can see the color, and the rest of it is just really like a plate type job, right? But I promise you, you and the spouse, however you want to do it, you know what I mean? You guys want to like put something together, that right there is fire, folks. You guys all had it, you know what I mean? If you ain't never had chicken and waffles, but this time we did red velvet chicken, fried chicken and waffles. Come on, folks, talk to me. Okay, so you guys seen it, right? Listen, we just got red velvet waffles. Look, that's like a level up, you know, just the appearance alone. And don't forget, I got that link up there, right? So you guys can click on that and you guys can see, you know, just how I made, you know, my fr uh, fried chicken. Now, what I'm getting ready to do is, I'm finna just go ahead and eat me one of these because I have not ate one as of yet. But I'm gonna take it like this. Let's go ahead and break this off here like that. And I'm finna enjoy, folks. Cheers. Mm. You know I gotta take a bite of this waffle. Come on, y'all. For those of you that know, I don't know who really don't know, but you know this combination right here, that sweet and that savory, I ain't even hit it with no syrup, no whipped butter or nothing like that, because that's how I do mine. But all I can tell you is, this right here is fire. Super simple to make. Don't forget, this is a great brunch uh, idea. You know what, this is just a great breakfast idea, period. And don't forget, we got Valentine's Day coming up. I would probably make this for whoever, whether it's the male or the female and vice versa, however you guys do it. Make this, let me know, come back and talk to me in the comment section below. Now, with that being said, you know what to do, because if you're new to my channel, if you don't, let me tell you. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm gonna tell you what I'm about to do right now, folks. I'm about to grab this and this. I already got my syrup over there and everything set up on a TV tray and I'm out.